and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to show you the lyric graffiti right there and I want to just show you down here we've got the 2500 watt motor and let's go for a ride and I'll tell you what I want to talk about all right off we go now that 2500 watt motor i showed you is what i want to kind of talk about today so i'm on this video i want to talk about this bike the lyric graffiti as an example of bikes out there that are they legal or illegal so the laws here in oregon state that an e-bike motor can be to a maximum of 1,000 watts. But if I hit this switch right here on this bike, right now it's 2,500 watt motor with a peak of 4,700, but if I switch right here, this switch, push it in like that, now I've got a 750 watt motor because it caps it so that it can't exceed it's a 700 it, it turns it into a 750 watt motor max so is that legal or illegal so is it is it a case of how you're riding your bike in what setting or is it how fast your bike is capable of even if you're not riding in that mode it's it's the mode you're in right so same with the motor since this motor is a 2500 watt motor that's far past the thousand but riding it like I am right now it's only 750 interestingly enough though so they worry about the motor size but I've yet to see anything on uh, I've yet to see anything on voltage so what if you have in Oregon for example a 1000 watt motor but you this is a 52 volt bike I should have mentioned that so what if you had 72 volts okay that's going to be capable of putting out some pretty good power and then it also doesn't say anything about controller what about controller size because that has a lot of effect on the bike too so even though you have a lower wattage motor it could ramp up with a higher amp controller and voltage I guess they're letting me go so right now I'm in street mode so this bike can only max out at 20 or just a little over 20 miles an hour on this I'm at full throttle right now so we're perfectly fine so the laws are kind of not very clear to me because Is it the is it the speed that we're going when we're riding or is it the speed the bike is capable of doing that's the law 
So if I've got a bike that's capable of going, let's say, 40 miles an hour, but I'm riding perfectly legal at 20 miles an hour, which is the limit here, which I am at right now, the limit here in Oregon, because my bike can go faster, but I'm not riding faster, I'm fine, or should be fine, right? So. I think just about every bike, seems like every bike I know of out there is capable of going a little more than the legal limit of 20. Like right now I'm in the legal limit here of class two, but yet look at how fast I'm able to get it up to because I'm in pedal assist level nine. And once that gets going here, I can get it up a little above 25, 26, like you saw there. The other thing is about this whole law thing, because it's really vague in my opinion. Uh, who gets pulled over? I've yet to see anybody on an e-bike get pulled over. I know it happens, but I haven't seen it happen. It's never happened to me. Um, of course, I don't do... I'm not... Um, if you want to call it a stunt rider type thing, I don't do, I'm not into all the wheelies and all that reckless kind of driving like that. I mean, I like to drive a little bit, ride a little bit fast sometimes, but I'm not crazy going 50 miles an hour and, you know, doing, trying to do wheelies and, and, and riding recklessly. I think anybody that wants to do wheelies, there's nothing wrong with doing wheelies, but I think you should be doing those um, somewhere like not in the on the public streets that's my opinion on that because that is dangerous and if you uh, want to endanger yourself that's one thing but if you want to you know if it, if it involves other people then we can't have that nobody wants that so anyway If you want to leave a comment on this video on anything legal or illegal with e-bikes go ahead and leave it in the comment section i just wondered you know technically i suppose i'm riding an illegal bike but right now i'm in legal street mode according to my button right here and um for me i don't mind riding at the you know the regular side street 20 miles per hour it's, it's fine if that's all you want but sometimes you'll get out in an area where a couple of things first of all there's no bike lane and you have to kind of merge in with traffic and if we can only ride 20 miles an hour and we're in a let's say we're in a 30 mile per hour zone um, you know, and we're perfectly legal to ride in the, on the road because there's no bike lane on the right hand side. So we have to kind of merge in and be in with traffic. And I think it's a little dangerous though, because if we're going 20 and the speed limit is 30, Everybody wants to pass you, and that gets a little chaotic, especially if it's a little bit busier. And we feel like we're, you know, tying up traffic behind us, which we kind of are. So I really think, I wish that they would at least make the laws, and I've said this before, um, that we can ride 30 miles an hour, like 28, say, and I think you can get away with two miles per hour or more. I think 30 would be a lot better especially depending on where we are. Like I'm right now on side streets, neighborhood residential area, and 15 like I'm doing now is fine, or 20. I don't need to go 30 miles an hour, nor do I want to in this particular area.
And the thing is, with laws, particularly here in the U.S., it's going to be dependent on your state. Like right now, some states have the class two, some have class three. I think some might even have class one. I don't know, but uh, I don't know. I've never understood why one state thinks it's okay to go class three, which is 28 miles an hour, and yet other states like ours here in Oregon, they regulate you to uh, 20 miles an hour. So why is California, for example, I believe New York as well, 28, and yet we can only go 20. I'd, I'd like it to be all the same everywhere, but. Nice tandem bike right there. So, I got one more uh, thing I wanted to mention too on here about what's legal and illegal. And I don't know the rules or laws on this one, but what about my other bike is a dual motor. I have a aerial rider Grizzly and that's a, a thousand watt motor, but it's two motors. So, I don't see any laws that saying you can only have one motor on there and it can only be that much. Like in our case here, 1,000 watts. Well, that motor is 1,000 watts, but there happens to be two on there. So is a dual motor e-bike legal or illegal? Uh, if anybody has a, an answer for that one, uh, let me know in the comments because I uh, sure don't know that. Because it is only 1,000 watts, even though there's two of them. It doesn't necessarily make the bike go any faster. You might get a mile or two per hour or more, but where, where that motor has its effects is on your power. Uh, acceleration from a stop and hill climbing. And that's what I use the dual motor for. I don't leave my uh, both motors on all the time. It's only when I need to accelerate quickly out of a situation like an intersection, or if I'm, like we said earlier, blending in with traffic, and I need to quickly get in and out of a situation. It's nice to have that quick acceleration. Um, so what is it about, uh, dual motor, is that legal or illegal? Uh, if you know, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Well, that's going to do it for this video here on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. Leave a comment in the comments below for this or any other video if you have any. And until next time, take care.